about is this beauty blender that I got. It is not the brand that is from Sephora. It is from, I believe, Studio 54, Studio 34, something like that. But it just looks like this. And when I first got it and opened it up, I was very, very skeptical because it felt really hard to me. And as I was like putting it on my face, I was like, how is this going to blend? But I did clean it last night and let it sit out and dry and everything. And it is a lot softer than when I first took it out of the box. And also when cleaning it, I just cleaned it with some regular dish soap and some oil. And I noticed it took a lot to get the suds out. Okay, so just to kind of show you how I use the Beauty Blender. I'm going to be using Revlon's Nearly Naked Foundation in 120 Vanilla which I will talk about this in a minute, but I just take some foundation and pour a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a little bit, you really don't need that much at all. I will take the base of the Beauty Blender and just kind of pat it onto the makeup. And I just kind of start patting slash bouncing it on my face. And if you don't want to like put it directly onto the product too, I have seen other people um, take the foundation and just kind of like blot it on your face. And then you can start patting it and blending it on your face. And it's kind of hard to see the texture just because I'm sitting in front of a window, but I love using this um, as to oppose a brush because it really cuts down blending time and it really does give you like an airbrush finish especially if you set your face with powder like I do um, and I just use the nearly naked Revlon powder and if you have somewhat oily skin like I do after you set your face with the powder it really honestly seriously looks poreless Another reason that when I got this um, that I did not really like it is because I did some more research and found out that when you use the Beauty Blender, you should, you should dampen it first before you use it um, for two reasons. One, when I first got this, the first time I tried it, I tried to put it on dry and again, it just felt really firm to me and didn't feel like it was blending or anything like that with the makeup. <clears throat> two, because the Beauty Blender is a spongy material, it absorbs the, a lot of the makeup that you put onto it or if you put it on your face. Dampening this will actually allow the makeup that you put on your face or that's on your face to sit more on top of the Beauty Blender instead of sinking into it. That way you're not wasting as much product and it just goes onto your skin a lot better. Um, and I've heard with the knockoff versions that you get, the more that you wash them too and um, get out the product and let it dry, that the softer it does kind of become. So. I do really like this. I picked this up at Walgreens for $6. So if you don't want to spend $20 on an actual beauty blender, then you can go to your drugstore and pick up another one that's similar. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about is <clears throat> I picked this up the other day and talked about it in my blog, but this is Revlon's Nearly Naked um, foundation. Like I said, I have the shade 120 Vanilla. I love this foundation so much. It is, I feel like a very love it or hate it foundation because I've seen other reviews on it and a lot of people really dislike it, but I am in love with this foundation. First of all, the tone of this foundation fits my skin perfectly. This is one of the first foundations that I've used that I don't even have to really blend into my neck or my chest or anything, and you can't even tell that like if there's lines or anything there's no harsh lines it doesn't look like a different color than my neck so I love it for that reason the consistency is very very light it is a very runny foundation if you do have oily or acne prone skin you probably want to make sure that you set your face with a powder um, or get blotting papers for your face 
or if you generally don't like foundations like that or your face is seriously and extremely oily, I wouldn't recommend this foundation. So I am seriously loving this and I don't have to use a lot even though it's a very light consistency. You don't have to use a lot of product, a little goes a long way, it's very blendable and I love this. So if you have moderate oily skin and you can set your face with a powder and get away with that or you have more dry-ish skin in the summertime or anything like I do, I would highly recommend this product. Another thing I wanted to talk about is this oil-free eye makeup remover. This is just a Kroger brand, but it is a knockoff of the Neutrogena eye makeup remover. And it is oil-free, which I prefer oil-free. I picked up a new one of these for two reasons. One, I was running low on this. And two, I really was not a big fan of this eye makeup remover. This is Maybelline's Clean Express oil eye makeup remover. It claims that it's oil free, but this to me was very, very oily. It was very good at getting makeup off. I just felt like this was extremely oily or maybe it just left a lot of residue and I wasn't very happy with it. And even like if I would have some excess like oil or, or residue on my face and would wash it, it just like hung around my face and it made my face break out sometimes and I just really wasn't a fan of this. But I picked this up because before I got the Maybelline, um, I had the Neutrogena, which is exactly like this, and that worked really well for me. So the only reason I got the Maybelline was because I wanted to try it because it was new and just kind of see if I liked that better. Um, but this I feel like lasts me a longer amount of time and I just love it. It works for me so I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with this. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is two products I got from Wet n Wild. The first one is this concealer by Wet n Wild in the shade 801. And it is Wet n Wild Coverall Stick. And I like it. It's okay. It is a lot better than the concealer I purchased from e.l.f. that was also a stick and I really, really hated that. But I do like this. It has really good coverage. So just to kind of show you, because I have some under eye bagness going on, um, I'll just kind of like apply it to any areas that I have like redness. And it kind of blends on its own when you put it on from the actual stick. But if you want to blend it out more, you can. Um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, but it has good coverage. For me, it has like a medium coverage, it's not a very heavy coverage. Um, it is a little bit oily to me, so again, if you do this before your foundation or after, I would set it with a powder. <clears throat> but it is okay. I think that next time that I purchase a concealer, I want to try a more liquid formula of one or ones that come in a stick. But I think just as far as sticks go, consistent wise, consistency wise, I just don't think that it's for me. But I will use this. It is not horrible like Elf's concealer was to me. It doesn't drag your skin. It's very smooth. Um, but I don't think I would repurchase this. I would just get a different consistency. I think I'm still trying to find what my concealer is, but this is okay. And the last thing from Wet n Wild that I got was a lipstick because they have had a lot of shades that I saw and they were very cheap as well. I got this lipstick right here and it is in the shade 901B Think Pink and it just looks like this. Um, I did a swatch for this lipstick for you guys in my last vlog. I will go ahead and put a little bit on. This is a very moderate color. I feel that in order for me to get a color payoff that I like, I have to put some foundation or concealer on my lips first and um, then apply the lipstick so that the actual color comes out. So I will dab a little bit of concealer on my lips first so I look ghastly and scary like I do right now and then I will just apply the lipstick like normal. And voila, there is the color. And like I said, I do like the color. It's very subtle. It's not meant to be very bright, I don't think, but I do like it. And it is moisturizing. The moisture kind of wears off quickly though, I would say within the first couple hours that you're wearing it. One thing I will say about this lipstick is that if you have chapped lips, 
at all. The kind of texture that is in this lipstick, it will definitely show when you wear this. It's kind of like if um, you get a cheap lip gloss and you have really chapped lips and you put it on, it looks like clumpy and stuff on your lips. That's how it will make your lips look when you first put this on because when I first put it on, my lips were chapped, um, which thankfully they are so much better now. But my lips were chapped and I put this on and I was like, oh, why does that look gritty? I don't like that and I thought it was the lipstick. But then I started moisturizing religiously with my EOS lip balm and my lips aren't chapped anymore and it goes on smooth and looks normal. I, if I want like a really, really natural look, I will wear this just on my bare lips and like I said, if I want that color payoff, then I will put some concealer or foundation on my lips first um, so that way it just shows the actual colors. I will repurchase more Wet n Wild lipsticks and try out their other colors and stuff, but I will... I'm also in a lipstick phase, so I'm going to be trying different brands as well and let you guys know how I like them. And this, by the way, was only $1.96, and so was the concealer. Yeah, so that is kind of everything I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so if there's any products that you guys have heard about that you might want me to try or talk about, let me know. Or if you have any questions about these products, how much they were, where you can get them, or any specific questions, leave them down in the comments below and let me know. I will answer your questions for you. And yeah, that's it, guys. So if you like seeing my videos and this was helpful to you, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me and hit the like button for me as well. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.